former Sheriff Scott Israel held a press conference without ever speaking to my client about what happened. From that, every one of us erroneously assumed that my client knew that kids were being killed in that building and he just didn't go in. Well, these jurors made it clear through their verdict that that couldn't be further from the truth. He did everything he could. And as a result of Sheriff Scott Israel's reckless, selfish political actions, he had to endure four years, four years of heartache and misery. No one should ever have to go through that. They did not meet their burden, and they should never, ever look to him to prove the case. And I think that his words got out through the testimony. They knew his position two days after this. He said, I didn't know where the shots were coming from. And they could never prove otherwise because he didn't. By the way, this is the most nerve wracking time of any trial lawyer's job and client and party. Regardless of if you think you've won, whether you think you've lost, whether you think you have a good appellate issue, there is nothing more nerve wracking than this. Literally. We, the jury, find as follows as to the defendant in this case. The defendant is not guilty. So say we all this 29th day of June 2023 at Fort Lauderdale, Broward County, Florida. I mean, you can tell pretty much immediate, genuine reaction from both of them, as you can expect. Especially Scott, obviously. This is his life on the line, literally. Verdict. Count two. But just because one was not guilty in this case did not mean all of them were going to be. It was two different kinds of negligence. So there, now, the first few counts were the felonies, and those were the big ones. Um, but, so if he, he could have still been convicted of some of the lesser counts, the misdemeanor counts of negligence. In the circuit court of the 17th Judicial Circuit in and for Broward County, Florida, case number... 197166 CF 10 a state of Florida plaintiff versus Scott Peterson defendant verdict count one we the jury find as follows as to the defendant in this case the defendant is not guilty so say we all this okay. 29th day count of June, one 2023 not guilty three at Fort Lauderdale Broward County Florida. I think that's the first six verdict count two we the jury find as follows as to the defendant in this case the defendant is not guilty so say we all this 29th day of June, 2023 at Fort Lauderdale, Broward County Court. Okay, Dirk, I didn't know that's what you were going for. Verdict, oh count God. three. Like, we the jury find as follows as to the defendant in this case. The defendant is not guilty. So One through six should be the same. Day of June, if they say not guilty, they should all be not Broward guilty. Verdict, count four. We the jury find as follows as to the defendant in this case. The defendant is not guilty. So say we all. This 29th day of June, 2023, at Fort Lauderdale, Broward County, Florida. Verdict, count five. We, the jury, find as follows as to the defendant in this case. The defendant is not guilty. So say we all this 29th day of June, 2023, at Fort Lauderdale, Broward County, Florida. We have different charges. Verdict, count six. We, the jury, find as follows as to the defendant in this case. The defendant is not guilty. So say we all this 29th day of June, 2023 yeah, at Fort Lauderdale, Broward County, Florida. Seven is the perjury. Verdict. Count seven. We, the jury, find as follows as to the defendant in this case. The defendant is not guilty. Okay. So say we all this 29th day of June, And then eight through something else uh, through the rest County, of them are Florida. different. Verdict. Count eight. We, the jury, find as follows as to the defendant in this case. The defendant is not guilty. So say we all this 29th day of June, 2023 at Fort Lauderdale, Broward County, Florida. Verdict, oh, 11 is the nine. perjury. We, the jury, find as follows as the defendant in this case. The defendant is not guilty. So say we all this 29th day of June, 2023 at Fort Lauderdale, Broward County, Florida. Verdict, count 10. We, the jury, find as follows as the defendant in this case. The defendant is not guilty. So say we all this 29th day of June, 2023 at Fort Lauderdale, Broward County, Florida. It's a good definition of perjury. Lying under oath really is what it is. Verdict. Count 11. We, the jury, find as follows as to the defendant in this case. The defendant is not guilty. All right. So say we all this 29th day of June, 2023 at Fort Lauderdale, I agree with Broward this. County, Florida. Nope. Yeah. He's not fair. I'm going to address you only by the numbers that are on the back of your badges. Juror number one, are these your true verdicts? Juror number two, are these your true verdicts? And he'll have to live with that, John. 
Juror number four. Are but these your true I still verdicts? don't agree with criminal Juror charges five, against this guy. Are these your true verdicts? Juror number six. Are these your true verdicts? Clearly. Juror number seven. Are these your true verdicts? So these are some of the victims' families back here. These two, I believe, are fathers of victims shaking their head. And you can't blame them. I mean, you can't blame them. I know some people are frustrated with um, how they've been involved in the process, but this takes over your life. It's a tragedy that's never going to be undone. So I really don't blame them for any anger or any frustration with the system. I, I don't blame them. Um, regardless of how I felt about this trial or the jury's verdict, I still don't blame them. 2023 at Fort Lauderdale, Broward County Court. Verdict, count nine. We, the jury, find as follows as the defendant in this case. The defendant is not guilty. So say we all this 29th day of June, 2023 at Fort Lauderdale, Broward County Court. Verdict, count 10. We, the jury, find as follows as the defendant in this case. The defendant is not guilty. So say we all this 29th day of June, 2023 at Fort Lauderdale, Broward County Court. Verdict, count 11. We, the jury, find as follows as the defendant in this case. The defendant is not guilty. So say we all this 29th day of June, 2023, at Fort Lauderdale, Broward County Court. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to address you only by the numbers that are on the back of your badges. Juror number one, are these your true verdicts? Juror number two, are these your true verdicts? Yes. So interesting, he didn't ask if they wanted the jury polled, um, but he is going to poll the jury, make sure this is their verdict. And because, as we know, in a not guilty verdict, any issues with any of Mark's questions or... Um, something that he argued in opening or closing, all of that goes away and are not appellate issues. There'd have to be some kind of fraud on the court um, or major misconduct. That's an outlier to ever be able to undo a not guilty verdict because of double jeopardy. Jay Coatser, Peter, you're one busy man. Uh, we're blessed to have you spend time with us. Well, I'm blessed to have you guys spend time with me. And literally, I for the first couple of days, I was checking, did the verdict come, the verdict come? And then I realized I'm like, you guys are going to let me know. And you did um, in full force and effect. You let me know when the, when the verdict came. So I appreciate that always don't ever think like, Oh, you've probably heard it already. I appreciate everybody that tags me, DMS me and lets me know any verdict comes in a, in a case that we're following together. This is concluded and you are dismissed. Thank you very much. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. I am surprised. I'm not going to lie. I am surprised. You know, with that many votes in the alternative, with that much stuff, the state's presentation of okay, the Okay, we're evidence. outside the presence of the jury. Everyone can be seated. Uh, I do need to address with all parties. I am entering an order contemporaneously. Madam Clerk will have a copy for each of the lawyers order sealing juror information. This order specifically directed at our trial court administrator, at the Broward County Clerk of Courts, as well as the state, and as well as the defense. Uh, I'm going to have the jury verdict forms redacted. The jury information is going to be sealed. So I'm likewise ordering the state and ordering the defense not to disclose any of those names. In this age of electronic multimedia, I'm sure if any jurors would like their identities to be revealed, they would like to speak to media or other sources, I'm sure they will have ample opportunity to do so. But that's not gonna come from the state and that's not gonna come from the defense. Ms. Wilcox, you have copies of those orders for each? Okay, very good. Mr. Peterson. I think that concludes your business at this point, sir. The jury having found you not guilty on counts 1 through 11, I will likewise enter an order of acquittal as to counts 1 through 11. Mr. Aguilar, is there anything you need me to do regarding Mr. Peterson? No, you're right. I wish you good luck, sir. State, anything else you need me to do? No, thank you, sir. Okay. Then at this point, that's going to conclude the proceedings in 197166 CF10A. All right, Madam Court Reporter, that is it. Okay, guys, that's all she wrote, baby. Toss you around. I am surprised. I am surprised. The state was so much better at its presentation. Yeah, we'll do the press conference if we can find the press conference. We'll do the press conference. We'll yeah. go ahead of the press conference. Sure. <laughs> The defense's cross was pretty good. They could have toned it down 10%. Scott, Scott. So talk to us about how emotional this is for you. 
What's going it's... through your mind right now? <laughs> got my life back. We've got our life We've back. Our life back after four and a half years. Five and a half. Because of Mark. <laughs> yep. And being able to put the truth out of what happened. It's it's been an emotional roller coaster for so long. Endless nights. You know, you know, talking to Mark one in the morning. You know, trying to understand and learn this whole case. It was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. But don't anybody ever forget this was a massacre on February 14th. The only person to blame was that monster. It wasn't any law enforcement. Nobody on that scene from BSO, Coral Springs. Everybody did the best they could. We did the best we could with the information we had. And God knows we wish we had more. What do you point. say to the family, Scott? I know it's emotional for them today, too. But this obviously isn't the outcome they wanted. Do you have any response to you know what, what I tell? You know what I tell the families? I would love to talk to them. I have no, no problem calling Mark, saying, hey, we want to talk. We'd like to know everything. I'm there. I would, I would have been there from day one. So my, I'll always be there. If they, if they need to really know the truth of what occurred, and not only my actions, but what occurred, I'm there for them. I, I, me and Lydia, we've mourned with them for four and a half years. We, you know, I seen some of these family members, and I'd love to went over to them and hugged them and said, God, I'm sorry. But, you know, I know that's maybe not what they're feeling at this point. Maybe now, maybe they'll give a little understanding, and, but I'll be there for them. I'll be there for them. How could I not? What about the prosecution? What do you say to the prosecutors who brought this case? I'll, I'll, let, I'll let Mark talk about that. We are extremely, we are extremely pleased with the outcome today. But understand something. This is not just a victory for Scott. It's a victory for every law enforcement officer in this country who does the best they can every single day. How dare prosecutors try to second guess the actions of honorable, decent police officers? Amen. Former Sheriff Scott Israel held a press conference without ever speaking to my client about what happened. From that, every one of us erroneously assumed that my client knew that kids were being killed in that building and he just didn't go in. Well, these jurors made it clear through their verdict that that couldn't be further from the truth. He did everything he could. And as a result of Sheriff Scott Israel's reckless, selfish political actions, he had to endure four years, four years of heartache and misery. No one should ever have to go through that. They did not meet their burden, and they should never, ever look to him to prove the case. And I think that his words got out through the testimony. They knew his position two days after this. He said, I didn't know where the shots were coming from. And they could never prove otherwise because he didn't.